Alright, Casey 2 rv back again. I wanted to make a quick video about uh, the inside of the BG7 TBL GPS oscillator, or GPS disciplined oscillator. Um, these are fairly inexpensive on eBay, about $150, and they give you a GPS locked one pulse per second and 10 megahertz out, along with um, 9600 baud. Uh, NEMA data. This unit is a, a great um, pairing to go with the uh, the RTCM. And this is my little RTCM here. And this RTCM is actually paired with uh, the QLG1 uh, GPS receiver from QRP Labs. And uh, actually it mounted it to the top. This is going at a site that already has a uh, a 10 megahertz GPS reference there, so I don't need I don't need this guy. So, anyway, enough about this one. I'll do uh, a video on this later. So, I wanted to open this up and show you what was on the inside. So, I don't think anybody's done a video on it. Um, but it's fairly simple box. There's nothing else here. Um, there's just uh, the four screws that are around the edge. And the unit uh, pretty much just slides out like so. Um, as you can see it's got, uh, there's the crystal oven made by Acilla Quartz which is, uh, if you look up the specifications on it, it's an excellent, excellent crystal oven. Um, very, very nice. And uh, it looks to be very well made. In my opinion, from what, I, what I've seen, um, this is actually using for its GPS receiver, the uh, let's see if we can see it here. This is the Ublox Neo 6M GPS receiver, so a good quality GPS receiver. That's why it's probably why it's so sensitive. This thing's very sensitive. Um, I get full GPS lock, you know, inside the house with no view of the sky. Um, and just a few smattering of components. Imagine. Uh, We've got, uh, looks like an Altair, Altera, uh, that's most likely the pick, and a few other, few other components here. Um, there are some options that you don't see advertised that you can actually see on the board here. Uh, there is option to change the baud rate, uh, options to change uh, the antenna voltage, uh, where's my screwdriver I want to use as a pointer. Here it is. Get with the other hand here. So, yeah, it looks like um, if you change this resistor, it's actually uh, looks like a 2 ohm resistor from here, from R15, position R15 to position R31, you can actually get 5 volts for an antenna that requires 5 volts. So, and um, there's a few other little options. I'm not exactly sure what these are for. Um, so, I'm guessing these are test pads. So, I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't actually yet tested them. So, to see what's actually coming out. But, overall, it looks very well made. And I've bench tested it. And it, uh, it fits the bill. It really does. So for a hundred and fifty ish dollars, this is a a great find, you know. Um, it's got a nice high quality uh, oven on it, which I believe, from what I'm being told, these ovens are actually surplus or or uh, poles from other equipment. Because an oven like this is rather expensive, and um, what kind of gives credence to that statement is if you look at the silk screen on the board you can kind of tell this board is meant to have other ovens on it so you can actually look on the back and you can see there's other holes you know plated on the board for other ovens so I would imagine um, Whatever ovens he can get his hand on, crystal ovens he can get his hand on, is what goes inside uh, these units, which makes them very cost effective. 
So, but this is a uh, this is a great little unit, and uh, it's compact. It's in a pretty nice case. Sensitive receiver. Like I said, I in a previous video I showed you this getting um, GPS lock right inside a shelter, and this is just the you know the antenna I was using. Uh, most of the ones on eBay come with this antenna so that um, you can use this right away and uh, the one thing you want to take note of is the voltage on here there's a reason why they're very specific about 11.7 to 12.9 and that's because the uh, positive here is directly connected to the oven and if you go under or over voltage the crystal oven will not perform to its specifications. So, I think I've shown it before where I solved that issue. Let's see, I think it's on the floor here. I don't know, I don't know where it went. Anyway, I lost it. Oh, no, here it is. Typical, I found it. I had this, and this is an adjustable buck regulator. You know, you can, uh, you get you know eight to twenty two volts in and one to fifteen out with a an adjustable multi turn pot and it says it's good up to three amps and it doesn't even get warm with this so um there's other things you can do you can you know put in a good old you know like the l m seventy eight twelve regulator and regulate it down stuff like that but that was cheap that was like five dollars and change off of amazon so another thing I really like. Uh, I'm a big, I'm a big one for cables being routed the right way, and I use right angles often on things, so that the cables, you know, you're not putting undue stress on the coaxial cable in the connector, because I'll tell you what, I've been burned way too many times by intermittent cables, so for just a couple of bucks, you can save yourself a whole bunch of, um, heartache down the road trying to diagnose an intermittent problem. So, uh, one thing I've noticed on this unit um, is the alarm light. When it first comes on, lights up. They don't tell you what this is for, but I figured out what it's for. It has to do with uh, that light go is on when the oven is not up to temperature, and it will go out once the oven is up to temperature. Of course, GPS lock light um, pops on once it locks in to enough satellites, which is three, I believe. Um, and then run is just a heartbeat light to, you know, an idiot light to show you that it's running. Can't program this at all. There's no programming. It just outputs data. That's all it does. Um, it outputs at an R you know, RS-232 level. So, um, it's, like I said, fairly simple. And, uh, I've, uh, I'm probably going to get a few more of these. Because uh, who knows well, when, they'll, when they're going to disappear. They're going to stop making them. So, the, uh, the Allen deviation charts on these are excellent. I've bench tested it against my, against the sinker, uh, at work, a Spectrocom 8195B, uh, GPS receiver, oldie but a goodie. And uh, I've benched it against the Rubidium Standard, and uh, it holds up the test. So, if you're going to be doing any form of simulcast, um, especially the uh, simulcasting with the RTCMs, uh, you know this is pretty much going to be a requirement unless you have some other way to solve the issue, solve the problem. I mean, crystal ovens are a definite, definite way to go. So. Um, yeah, I would, uh, like I said, if you need a locked, GPS locked 10 megahertz reference, I think this is the best bang for your buck. It really is. You know, uh, I can't see much else cheap that, that is cheaper out there. There are other units that are out there that are similar to this. Um, and one of them, I, you know, I did a previous video on, and it just sort of sucked. So... Um, kind of sorry I spent like $130 on that thing. I mean, but it's, it, it's at least a, 
you know, a nice, accurate 10 megahertz reference. You know, I can use that as a bench reference. So, that's all for today. Uh, like I said, I've been working on this stuff piecemeal here and there and everywhere. I just recently mounted this. You know, I mounted this guy to the top of the RTCM. And uh, to digress here, when you order one of these boards, if you order one of these boards, let's take this off for vis visibility, they do not come with this resistor. You need a low ohm resistor, like a 10 ohm resistor or something like that, and then uh, a ferrite bead as a choke. Uh, the reason why I got a wire soldered here was because I removed... I originally had this patch antenna stuck onto it, and when I pulled it out, I pulled the the, the plating, the through hole plating, on the uh, you know on the on the hole out, so it wasn't making connection. So I kind of had to solder a wire directly onto the GPS receiver. But this thing, believe it or not, when it's soldered on the board, is very sensitive. This unit will get lock inside very easily. Put that over there. So. Um, yep, that's all for today. Uh, questions, comments, well, you know where to find me. See you later.